Here I go! <laughs> Lifting lugs is going in here, Doug. Yeah, right. exactly. We're going to do some work on our main hatch because we got some nice weather here and we need to adjust the rack and make it so it doesn't screw up anymore. We're getting very good at taking it on and off. So there's the rack and pinion gear. See that, that pinion gear is on a shaft that goes across to the other side where there's another one. And what's happened is the, uh, the rack keeps pushing up further away from the pinion gear. So we're going to take it all apart. And the other thing is we got our alignment a little off between that rack and that pinion. So we're probably going to shorten the shaft and cut that uh, bearing loose there and bring it all over to get better alignment. Oh, I like what you did with the boards. Thank you very much. That was nice. Uh, what we should do is get any 2x6, 2x8 that we can lay from side to side across here. Yeah, we got way. scaffold but, boards. Yeah. Yeah, I'll haul some up for you. Going. Well, we can cut them off. Cut them off, yeah. And put the nut on take the outside. Up, take this all out. Yeah. And the whole thing will come build out. It up. Once it's adjusted right, it fits fine. So if we were to drill a bunch of additional holes where there is no slot, there is no slot. Then it wouldn't have the ability to adjust. It can't. Well, so it could bend the bolt. Right. What's that? I don't think oh yeah, I mean. You'd have to bend or shear the bolt before that happens. Because okay. um, I mean, right now some of these are far apart, is like 14, 16 inches. Yeah. So if we were to drill some intermediate holes and put yeah. bolts in those holes, yeah. those holes, then those can't adjust. So they'll also help support the ones that are slotted. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, maybe another inch. Well, what I'm saying is, why cut why cut two things when we can just cut, cut one the one? Cut the one. Cut the one. Just hold it. Yeah, I'll just yeah. cut it in the middle. Whoa, 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 whoa! It's, it's broke. Yep. What? I broke the disc. Bro broke. You broke the disc. I did. I have. I have never broken a disc. <laughs> you hang out with me more often. <laughs> <laughs> How far from being through is it? I can I finish a quarter inch. No, don't finish it with that. I hate, oh, let me get it I hate seeing any blood. <laughs> I seen blood on TV the other night. Somebody here and I... I I'm going to put a couple of bolts in it, but that wasn't holding it very well, so a little TIG welding practice today. I mean, I'm not going to win any awards. No, you're it. not going to win any awards with that, but... That's right. That's not what this job is, so it makes no difference. All right, end of the day, and no, we didn't get it finished. I screwed up on the measurements. You know, it is hard to get these things in the right place so that they're lined up with the track. So what we're going to do, new approach, is uh, we're going to take the hatch, finish it tomorrow, which is just a matter of putting the boards back on, put the hatch onto the boat, then we'll line up the uh, those pinion gears with the racks that way, because this is going to have to get cut and moved and maybe another hole drilled we'll see not everything you do works the first time don't give up just keep at it okay that's good for that side hey guys you pull it da, da. I'm going to fill that hole in right there, so the trick is to clamp in a block of copper back here. It won't stick to the copper. Copper just soaks the heat up too quick. All right, they said it'd be sunny today. It's not sunny. It's cold just a little retainer that goes out here on both sides that holds uh, silicon. We'll cast some silicon in there. 
Now one of our adjustments is to put some shims in here above the bushing and below the steel that raises the whole hatch up. That's to put more pressure on this. That'll take some of the pressure off of our rack over here. Because this time we got a lot of load riding on our pinions here because we dropped the rack so much. But I think it's going to be a nice tight fit. It's going to break that. Yep. Well, no, no. There. there she goes. Put in support. Yeah. This front edge, like up. Lee, I think we just weld something new to the deck, so we catch the rear end and as far so forward as possible. Or, or no, no, I mean to, to the, the hatch. hatch. Yeah, oh, right where we, yeah, right where you were thinking. Right along this edge. They don't block the view for the wheel or anything. No, and it's good. It doesn't get in the way coming up and down. And it's not going to be this position most of the time. So now the trick is to build something that holds the boat. At that location that takes quite a bit of view out well no no you still see all the bulwarks yeah yeah that's no, fine but we can lower it down a little bit too it doesn't have to be that high and this is why we got a 12 foot not a 14 foot the heater the cat's best friend. Real nice. Hello, John. Hey, John. Hey, hey. Uh, John helped me in. We got all the hardware on. We got two latches, one that holds down the top. It comes on backwards, and we had to trim the back of the little hook, and that made it work. And it's a little bit out of alignment, so it needs a pin, kind of like the lock. Otherwise, it's pulling. It's not pulling back over here, so that's not too bad. So we have to put this on, lock it down, and then to hold it down, drop a the pin through that one the other one pulls down fine so one the other one here locks down the boat so each strap has two of them one for the top one for the boat itself and that's not going anywhere i love it well done thank you john and and a lot of you know that we got another boat this is just a dinghy the other one's a tender so this is lightweight thin skin so if you go against the rocks with this you're going to put a hole in it you go against the rocks with the other one and the rocks are going to have some damage too that one's easy to weld on it's a much bigger boat heavier for doing rough work this is your uh, this is your go to the dinghy dock boat and the cover on it since we can put the poles in and raise that top up you got to work out in the sunshine along the coast somewhere in a bay this would be a wonderful boat to take because you can stay out of the sun all day long and, and back here we've got an opening and that's where the in the outboard goes so this would be the only gasoline engine we have on the boat and this gasoline will probably just stay in this boat uh, I can't see much reason we're taking too much of it along but we'll put a 10 horse on there and this thing should do about oh, I don't know 15 20 miles an hour something like that depends on how much weight you get in it 
Oh, and one more thing. Let me get in proper attire here. If you buy our, from our overpriced junk store, we will add you to a uh, early release list. It means you'll see by this time, you just like six videos you haven't seen because you're not a supporter. You're a bilge rat. So if you want to not be a bilge rat, you buy something from our overpriced junk store, that endears you to us. We get put you on an email list that you'll see our videos as soon as they come out. So here's a link to the store. Go buy something expensive. Really expensive. <laughs>